solar is a very critical infrastructure need from a power delivery standpoint. Uh, we all know that solar does not require any fuel. The technology itself doesn't have any moving parts. So in terms of delivering clean energy to the citizens of the country, the potential is humongous. The sunshot is very important. It's critical. It allows us to hit a cost target for PV or solar installed to be a dollar a watt to make solar more competitive than any of the other electricity genera generating resources that we have. And when you reach that kind of a, a competitive price point, people will want to implement solar much more. Uh, and you don't need the incentives that government typically provides to install solar technology. We have put together a consortium, the Photovoltaic Manufacturing Consortium, to focus on next generation thin film innovation on everything from PV modules to balance of system in order to reduce the cost in an accelerated manner. We have brought together close to 40 companies that have committed to be part of the consortium. I think PVMC offers a unique combination of elements that the DOE, I think, has brought to the table. First is it attempts a collaborative approach from the solar energy spectrum. Secondly, it provides some unique facilities that we haven't had before and readily made available to the industry participants. And thirdly, it addresses specifically the challenges of manufacturing. Specifically, how do we take the innovations that are occurring in the United States and translating them into manufacturing success? What we are trying to do as part of the consortium is to take R&D that is done at universities or national labs, such as the National Renewable Energy Lab, or at a startup type organization and use our infrastructure and capabilities to demonstrate the scaled up potential of that technology. What we're trying to put in place and establish are what we call a pilot manufacturing facility as well as a large scale manufacturing development facility that's capable of producing 10 to 20 megawatts of solar panels on an annual basis. What that allows us to do is to take manufacturing related innovations and implement it and integrate it into the manufacturing line so that we can scale it up much faster than any single company can do it by themselves. We expect that we have significant participation within the United States supply chain. And through a collaborative approach, uh, we expect that there will be significant cost reductions and improvement of the competitiveness of the U.S. players. And as the market grows, of course, they'll directly benefit. But we also expect that this will demonstrate that there's a better way to attack some very difficult problems that unite uh, the supply chain with the capabilities we have. The manufacturing facilities that we are putting in place are going to focus on three or four specific technical areas of development. One is improving the process and actual equipment that is used to manufacture thin film solar technologies. We're also looking at improving and implementing metrology related capabilities into the manufacturing line so that the process is much better controlled. And finally, we're looking at reliability from the standpoint of a complete system as well as reliability at the cell level and the module level to make the product much better and as a result, much cheaper moving forward. Excitement comes about when you're doing meaningful work where you think you make a long-term difference. And under the DOE Sunshine Initiative, we've defined a vision which is compelling to people. And we've defined the means through PVMC and other entities to actually accomplish it. What if we're successful with the Photovoltaic Manufacturing Consortium is really bringing back manufacturing-based technology and know-how to the U.S. And then the U.S. being able to produce 
uh, and be self-sufficient with the manufacturing products that we come up with uh, for our own needs, for example, and then be a net net exporter. This is about U.S. competitiveness. This is being at the ground floor of something that we believe is really, really big that can change not just the region and the country, but the world.